Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Now, if you have been following my channel, you know these last couple of months, I have been focusing a lot on agentic AI and how it's going to like change the cybersecurity industry. And for a good reason, I have been focusing on it because like I said, I think it's going to have a big, big impact on the industry and on your career as well, which is why I have been stressing so much on this uh, technology, which is agentic AI. And that has led to a lot of people asking me, about how to learn agentic AI security. Like if they want to learn about securing AI agents, how do they go about it? Because the problem is, it's not like there's not enough material. It's like there's too much material and they don't know where to start. There's like no structured way of learning. So that's the focus of today's video. I want to show you like a clear roadmap in which you can learn agentic AI security and not just learn it, like uh, apply the concepts that you learn so that it's not like you read one pair like white paper and then you forget about it the next day that's not really learning right so that's the focus of today's video a structured step-by-step -step plan that will hopefully let you learn ai agentic ai security in a very practical way if you're new to the channel my name is Taimur Ujlal. i'm a senior security consultant with aws and i made this channel to give advice on cloud security ai security cyber security careers so please do like and subscribe to this channel share this video if you found it useful and let's get started. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about everyone, which is a step-by-step -step plan to learn agentic AI security in 2025. Now, if you are, if you haven't watched my previous videos and you like thinking that this agentic AI is just hype, you know, it's gonna go away. No, as much as you want it to go away, it's not gonna go away <laughs> anytime soon. Agentic AI is definitely at the very top of most companies, uh, like a future roadmap, and they are looking into how to apply this. If you've read Gartner's top 25 strategic trends for 2025, you'll see that agentic AI is right at the very top. Similarly, I mean, McKinsey, they released this recently, they just released this new study about the technology trends. And as you can see, there's a 985% increase in job postings for agentic AI. So this is, this is something where the industry is going. It's going to be focusing on this for the next two to three years, very much so. And now companies are applying like the proper, as they say, use cases for this technology. So please do not think that this is just hype, it's gonna go away. At the same time, the people who are taking this seriously, like they have, they have been following my videos and they, are, they have realized that this is quite important and this is gonna change the industry. I have seen a lot of people making mistakes about this. Like, and this, these are the most common mistakes that I have seen people making with regards to agentic AI. They are waiting for some certification to show up, you know, some magic cert, which they will do and they will get like agentic AI on their profile. You cannot wait for certifications to show up. By, by that time, the industry will have moved forward quite a bit and you will like, you will have wasted time, as they say, trying to learn this technology. Certifications come later on, they're still being developed. Uh, and like uh, what you call there's a time frame for that right please do not wait on such a critical thing thinking that you'll just do it later similarly they are waiting that once my company starts adopting ai agents then i'll take a look when your company is adopting ai agents it's already too late they will be looking at you to guide them on what sort of technologies what sort of risks they have to uh, like mitigate okay you can't be learning about that at that time and lastly and this is the most common thing, reading up on conceptual frameworks without building anything, which is they're just reading theory. They download the white paper from OWASP or NIST about agentic AI and they read it and they say, okay, yeah, this is good. They'll probably forget about it the next day. If you do not apply uh, the concept, if you don't build an AI agent, you will not understand this technology. I can almost guarantee you that. It's like if you've ever worked with Kubernetes or Docker or something like that, right? You can read about it all you want you will not understand it until you actually start to apply the concepts start playing around the command line same same thing with agentic ai okay do not just read about it without applying it so now that you've understood and please try to avoid these mistakes what is the way to learn agentic ai like what are the steps so if you if i break it down first of all i want you to understand what agentic ai is a lot of people still think that it's like gen ai wrapped over a like like put over a wrapper like as jerry is a wrapper over some apis and you have magically now you have agentic ai no so generative ai like chat gpt and all that it creates things right text code agentic ai the biggest move forward is it acts it is able to take action without being prompted like autonomously that is the big thing right so if you want to put it simply jenny AI gives you answers agentic ai and go, goes out and does the work if you only 
think like think in the terms of JNI, you will miss how agents behave, misbehave, and interact, right? So uh, agent security, agent AI security, it starts with understanding what they are and what they can do on their own. So you have to get this very much clear. Please understand what agent AI is. So now that you have that concept, the next step is to learn agent AI architecture. So agent AI does not just come in one flavor. You know, there's one type of agent AI now that you have learned it. Typically, it comes in one of these three forms, which is a single agent or a multi-agent hierarchical format or a multi-agent decentralized. There are other models also. Please, if you if you don't jump on me because I miss those, but these are the three most common and you have to understand this. Why? Because each agent AI model, it has its own risks and controls. A single agent AI, that, that's like low risk, right? A multi-agent hierarchical, it has a different way of thinking. It can have a single point of failure. Uh, multi-agent decentralized, they might not have single point of failures, but they have other risks, right? And think about model context protocol, which I'll talk about later. But this is what I'm talking about. This is the single agent, agent AI architecture. If, you, if you've heard people talking about it, like, you know, you ask it to book the flight to Europe, it'll understand this. It will reason it out what you're asking using some sort of LLM. So LLM is there in the background, but it's just a very small part of it. And then it starts to act and using some sort of API or a model context protocol, MCP, which I've talked about before. This is a protocol that extends the ability of your agentic AI. It lets it take actions and it keeps learning. So this is basically how a single agent works. And th th these are the components that you have to understand when it comes to learning about agentic AI. Or we have a multi-agent architecture also, which, which comes in two forms, which is a hierarchical format or a decentralized. So let's talk about this one. This In this one, a hierarchical format, you have a supervisor or an orchestrator, which is looking after multiple child age, AI, agentic AI, right? And this higher level agentic AI, this is what is controlling and looking after all of them. So maybe you have a, like a SOC, uh, autonomous agentic AI SOC. So this will be the SOC team, the SOC lead, and these will all be the L1 SOC analysts. And you can imagine that this, it can become a sort of point of failure, right? If you talk, if an attacker is able to target this, he can potentially control all of the child AI agents. So this is where you have to think about what are the controls that you have to put? What are the communications? How are they authenticating to each other? Similarly, this there is like a swarm or a decentralized way, which is multiple AI agents are communicating with each other at the same time. There is no overall hierarchical, like a top guy. All of them are communicating with each other at the same level. And you have to understand now what is stopping somebody from injecting a rogue AI agent here, right? What is stopping an attacker from spoofing a certificate or spoofing an identity and injecting it here and poisoning the other agents? So these are the sort of multi-agentic AI architecture you have to think about. Understand these concepts very importantly. So I hope now you get the, like uh, what are the areas to focus on when it comes to agentic AI architecture, learn single agent, hierarchical, decentralized, and the swarm one and model context protocol, which is how these agents are able to call tools, are able to call other data outside their environments. So now that you have understood agentic AI architecture, this is the part I do not want you to skip because this is the part people do skip, which is build an agent. I, I need you to build an agent by, you will not be learn how to secure agentic AI without building your AI agents. There are many, many frameworks completely free available. The two I have used the most is uh, Crew AI. This is like an open source uh, agentic AI framework. You can spin up a team of agents, you know, give it some stuff to do. Or AWS strands, if you follow my previous video, this is like a free framework from AWS also. It's awesome, very, very easy to do. Like if, if you know a little bit of Python, you'll feel right at home. So you can, you don't have to make like a massive project, but you know, just build an agent that does something like summarizes security alerts. Maybe you can build another agent that summarizes mitigations, create a manager agent, that, manager agent that is looking after all of them. This way you will understand how agents work, they communicate, how they fail. They will not, maybe not, not understanding what you want them to do, how they are drifting from the goal that you have uh, given them and this is how you will understand it if you do not if you just learn concepts theory you will not understand how agentic ai security works i can guarantee you that like i said there are many many frameworks available crew ai aws strands or apart from that also there are many frameworks just choose one which you find easy and then start to build something 
okay after you've built something this is now now is the part where you understand the risks this is where i've seen the people make the mistake they directly jump to this part without understanding without building up this uh, foundation that you need now remember that when agentic ai it has all the risks that generative ai has which is you know things like prompt injections hallucinations data poisoning uh, basically indirect prompt injection all of those things remain but because of the fact that they can act autonomously independently they have new types of risks also where you have prompt injection you can say 2.0 you know where you you can now hijack the agent by giving it some sort of prompt injection not just make it do like give the wrong data actually hijack it you can misuse the tools like with model context protocol you can put in like tool poisoning or put in some sort of malicious tools that attackers can put in which can uh, again cause the agent to misbehave you can take over the agent by impersonating the identities impersonating certificates model context poisoning where you can actually uh, give it some sort of a wrong tool to make it do the wrong activities right there are many many ways to learn about these sort of like risks i would recommend the best thing i have seen is the OWASP one i'll put all these resources in the comment section so you can take a look but this new guide they have just released which is securing agentic applications guy it's really really good honestly speaking uh, if you uh, if you're not don't have a background on these sort of attacks the OWASP is the one i would recommend you start with but like i said first build up your concepts before you jump into like uh, what uh, securing agentic ai so now that you have learned about agentic ai risks and you you build your own agent and you've understood the risks now how do you apply these concepts so the best way to do it is to threat model an agentic ai you know you can do there are many many frameworks for threat modeling basically you do a risk assessment you you've made an agent now i want you to do a threat model of it now there are many many frameworks existing available like stride the problem is they are not that good for highlighting the risks that are present with agentic ai they are they are more focused towards traditional applications or cloud based applications so there is a threat the threat modeling framework for agentic ai if you're not available it's called maestro and what it does is it breaks down threat modeling into the layers of agentic ai and it specifically focuses on the unique risks that agentic ai poses so it allows you to map those risks at the different layers you know there, there's the llm layer there's the actual layer there's the tools layer there's the human layer all of these layers you can actually uh, focus on with maestro this is how it looks like you can say the foundation model data operation agent framework like the strands and crew ai deployment infrastructure evaluation observability security compliance and the agent ecosystem so it, it's really really good i will put the link for maestro uh, in the comment section also so use that to build up your uh, knowledge of threat modeling so just learning about security risks is not enough please uh, another mistake like you just learn about the risks unless you do a proper threat model of these applications you will not understand how they are working and how to communicate the risks that are there just try to do the, like build a basic threat model publish your work and learn from your mistakes that you do so these are the focuses i wanted to talk about like the five steps follow this and i guarantee you will have a much better handle on agentic ai so if you want to stay ahead in agentic ai like i said build don't just learn about it like and wait for something certification study real world agentic behavior you threat model at the orchestration layer not just orchestration layer actually i'll correct myself threat model at all the layers understand tools build something with crew ai strands and stay current like i said agentic ai evolves very very rapidly ai evolves very very rapidly so uh, i'm sure like six months later i'll probably need to update this video with new attacks that have come out so but if you wanted like a proper roadmap to learn agentic ai to learn how to get better at the agentic ai then this is how i would do it i hope this was useful to you i have a course on udemy also i'll try to put the voucher for that in the comment section if you want to deep dive even more into this topic i will put the resources that i've talked about here which is the owasp one and the maestro one so you can take a look at those also to get a better idea so if this video was useful to you please do like and subscribe to this channel let me know in the comment section if you want to cover me to cover some other topic Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next video.